life is never black and white. I mean, examine my own case, all right? There are many things that most people didn't even know about, and yet they were gullible enough to believe whatever they were told by police or media or what they found you know, in the public records. When your view is skewed, you see things only the way you want to. Um, C.S. Lewis wrote in The Magician's Nephew, what's the phrase here? What you see and hear depends a great deal on where you are standing. It also depends on what kind of person you are. That's very true. We see only what we want to see most of the time. So don't always believe what you're told by police, by city government, or by big business. Let me give you another example. Arby's. On TV, they're touting their 5 for 5.95 deal. All right. On the TV, they show you these big-sized, you know, roast beef sandwiches. But when you really get them, they're down like this. I used to get their beef and cheddar, and it used to be dripping with cheese. The last time I got it, I couldn't find the cheese. And when I tried to lift the top bun off, it was stuck to the meat. It was coming apart. They told me that they could only put on a three-quarter cup of cheese, and if I wanted extra, it would cost me a quarter. And you see all these commercials of big businesses touting their wares, touting their... They're big sales, and they're just trying to get your money. That's all they care about. That's all police, city government, and you know, big business. They, they, that's all they care about, and that's not right. But you don't have to take it. One person can make a major difference in the world, but it takes a group to really change. If you want to change things, Write to your senator, write to your representative, write to not just them, but to every senator, to every congress member. Tell them all how you feel. Tell them all that you're not going to take it anymore. Now the president is just one person, one voice among many. And he has one of the very toughest jobs because <clears throat> he's just one voice and he has to fight so many other voices that don't, you know, think like him. So, I mean, he's got one voice, they've got many, <coughs> but those many voices can't fight us. Our voice is stronger because we outnumber them. So you let your voice be heard, but you do it together. Doing things together is the only way you can en get any change done. It's the only way you can really succeed in anything. One person can lead, but there must take a group to really do things. Because I know I'm sick and tired of, you know, the way things are. And while I would definitely write to them, I'm too poor to afford all the stamps and envelopes and stuff. But see, that's another thing. If you can afford something and someone else can't, pay for theirs. If you can, do it help each other, work together, put aside selfishness. Because only by working together, by putting aside our differences, can change really happen. 